Well, I've done it. There you go. And it works. I'll show you around it in a second. Oh, can you hear it click? And if you can see that, it actually picks it up quite easily. And uh, I've just weighed it on my old, very, very old bathroom scale, very inaccurate. These things. I know what's going on. Up those things, and it weighs seven pounds. So on these, so that's to give you a clue what it weighs. Anyway, um, it does work. Oh, I suppose I ought to give you a demo, didn't I? But uh, there's one tiny modification I might do. Right, I'll tell you what. Now it's got to be ever so short. This is so. Uh, I will give you a demo, we'll put the solder iron on let it warm up and uh, while I just show you around it and tell you the only alteration that I might do and I would suggest that you do um, right I'm, let me just Got a piece of wire that's all just got to cut it and strip two ends just to show you what we might do in the future very easy to do as well now when you have a piece of wire in they're not touching and as you know with a magnet it really needs to be touching and so if we can uh, If we can get a uh, piece of rubber, and again, I'll show you around it in a second while I'm holding on it, and I'll tell you better. Um, I left that just there, if you can see. I've welded that on. I'll show you in a second, show you all about it. But when the wire's in, the magnet isn't quite touching there's a little gap so it holds it as you'll see but it's not you can quite easily pick it up you see whereas as you've seen when it's touching it's very strong as you can see I just picked it up a minute ago I've maybe moved something slightly so there you go. Um, it's plenty strong enough anyway. And I've got a little 9 volt battery. So while the soldering iron's eating up, I'll, I will just show you around it. Made it half I told you I was going to make a half decent job. I think you'll agree I have done. Well, I found a switch. And I found a bracket. And I put a screw in. The only thing is that... Could have done with a little bit larger screw. But anyway, I found a bit of aluminium and cut it and took the edges off, you know, made it quite nice. But all proper terminals on look, proper colours, clip on there. And I found another bit just to hold the battery. The only thing I didn't find, haven't got, is a battery connector. So I've soldered it to the battery. I don't know how long they'll last, but it doesn't matter because, of course... If it's too strong and not strong enough, it would be a very simple job, wouldn't it? To get some AA batteries. I mean, you don't have to buy these expensive ones. You can get a pack, you know, that would last ages. Or last long enough. Because you're not going to be using it very much, are you? You know. I mean, it's only got to get limited use. But, I'll, right, I'll just show you around it. Now. That's the original coil. And the reason it's taken so long, this is, I've been three afternoons doing this now. I think it's worth it. Uh, I found this bit of, um, well it's fibreboard stuff. And it wasn't square, so I've had to sand that square both ends. And all I've done is drill that and i put one screw in. So to take this off is a very simple job. That, I've just put a bit of tape around there to hold the coil. That will lift off. These terminals will come off properly, as you can see. 
and the long job yesterday was finding these screws and I drilled that and put these small self tappers in they spread it slightly but now when I cut it off as you can see here and the bits are downstairs because it's laminated and I obviously cut the top off it it delaminated quite a lot so another big well a long winded job yesterday was getting this flat on the belt sander or getting it flat enough so the plate touched which as you can see it does you know I mean look it lifts it up you see so that took a long while um, but as I say there's one screw under there to screw this down and that will lift off I've even gone to the trouble look of putting a wire cable on there so you just pull those proper terminals off to put on proper terminals on the switch <laughs> I'm just showing you right well that will be very long and uh, what I did first I, I cut it off and then I welded across each end now the other end is not it's not very straight welding but I will just show you it maybe maybe just show you it so I clamped it together yesterday it went downstairs and ran a bead of weld across and ground it up just to hold it together and as you can see it's still fanned out a bit but it doesn't matter you know and then this type this side after welding it up I got my bit of little bit of box section and if I can get some light on there you should be able to see in there yeah you can see that I just tack welded it on there now as I say I think the only modification I'll do is to and I might do is cut this off just below the top and then get a piece of rubber you know like um, exhaust hanging you know an exhaust hanger on a car and cut a piece out that just goes in so when this comes down it actually presses on there because that will hold it a lot firmer that's all I'm sure it's got to be firm enough so we'll give it a go and see as I say I'm sure you want a quick demo of course I've <laughs> I thought well I've made a bit of a mess obviously as you can imagine doing this I'll put you in close enough but not too close I think that's the best thing and then if I stand to the side with a bit of look you'll be able to see it um, now, what here? now the only thing is as I say, I made a bit of a mess, so I thought, oh, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll tidy up, <laughs> just to show you, you know, well, of course, now we need everything, so it's all the way. Not downstairs, unfortunately. I did have a quick tidy up, but I've, we've got a lot of mess outside now, with stripping that microwave. So, um, all you have to do... Where's all that viewfinder so you can see, yeah. I want you to see what I'm showing you rather than not see what I'm showing you, what you normally do. So you flip that under there, right, put that on there, and then you can get your soldering iron. Now I've got too much solder out of course, but never mind. So we tin that wire, it's pretty quick, you know soldering's quick. So that's one, then you just flick the switch, take that out, put your next one in, flick the switch, and it's got it enough. Right, we want to join those two together, like that. Right? So now what you should be able to do, put those two together so they touch, flick the switch, then you can get your solder and just touch that together. Like that, and you've got the perfect join. I'll 
we'll just show you that. There you are, look. All right, I didn't, a bit long, but look. Now, if you were holding those, right, and waiting for it to go off and that, you know what a struggle it is. So, yeah, I think it's successful. Anyway, there you go. That seems to work, doesn't it? What? That's a major change, isn't it? Major change for me to do something that works. Right. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, we have proved that it can be done. I have to come back so you can actually see me, but that doesn't matter, does it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that little experiment we've done, that little idea. Well worth doing. If you're, uh, if you're one of those people that mess about often, you know, soldering wires together and things, it would be pretty useful. And as I say, you've seen it's plenty strong enough, you know, to do the job. Quick and easy, and that's what we want, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't think that's my worst idea I've ever had. I look forward to seeing your comments again. Right, that's it for a day or two, I think. I'm not doing... Well, tomorrow I'm having to clear up. And, uh, as I say, it's, it's wet and cold tomorrow. Easter Monday and it's uh, a bit wet in the week I've had a look so I might I may or may not get something to show you so all I'm saying is <laughs> make the most of this <laughs> if you want right we'll see you when I've we'll see what develops <laughs>